Let's go to google.com slash earth slash versions to know the different versions of Google Earth. According to this web page, there are three versions that we can choose from. First is Google Earth on web, which allows users to fly anywhere in seconds and explore hundreds of cities using a browser. Second is the Google Earth on mobile. Android and Apple users can download and install the mobile application. Then they can browse the globe with a swipe of their finger on their phone or tablet. The third is the Google Earth Pro on desktop. This is your choice if you are in need of advanced features of the application. This third version is what we are going to use to create a narrated virtual tour. Let's go ahead and download the installer. Simply click the Download Earth Pro on Desktop button. This confirmation pop-up will appear. If you agree with the privacy policy, click the Accept and Download button. As we can see, the installer has been downloaded. I'll open it. Follow the on-screen instructions to install. Once it's completed, we can find it in the list of programs in the Start menu or in the desktop directory. Let's open the app. Our goal in this video is to be able to create a guided or narrated virtual tour. In order to do that, let's familiarize ourselves with the interface of the application. On the left side, we can see three panels. The first one is the search panel. This is used to search for places. Enter the search terms in the input box and click search. We can search by address, business name, coordinates, keywords, and local name. Let's say we'll search for Okada in Metro Manila. After pressing search, we are flown to that place. The second one is the places panel. We will go back here later to create our own narrated tour. In the meantime, let's continue identifying the parts of the screen. The third panel is called Layers. It displays a variety of interesting geographic content. To view a layer, click the checkbox beside its name to show it on the image. To hide, uncheck it. To expand the layer folder, click the right arrow. To collapse the layer folder, click the down arrow. Take note that some layer content does not appear until you zoom in to an area. At the upper right, we can see the tools. Use the loop tool to look around from one vantage point. Click and drag the ring to rotate the view. Use move control to move the image Use the zoom slider to zoom in or out. You can also double click your left mouse button to zoom in. Double click the right mouse button to zoom out. Alternatively, scroll down using your mouse wheel to zoom in and scroll up to zoom out. To use the Pegman icon, just zoom into a location then drag and drop it to enter street view. At the top, we can see some tools that we don't find in other versions of Google Earth. Here we can view older imagery of locations to see how places have changed over time. Click the time icon in the toolbar for that. Move the slider to see past imagery of the place. For example, we can see how this place looks like a few years back by moving the slider to previous years. We can also show sunlight across the landscape. Move the slider to set the time of the day. Here we can find the tool that we will use to record our guided virtual tour. The record the tour button when clicked will show the recording controls. Let's have an actual example. First things first, find the places that will be included in the tour and add them in the places panel.
right-click My Places and select Add Folder. Enter the folder name. While the folder is still selected, go to the search panel and find the first destination in the tour. Once done setting the view, go to the Places panel. Right-click the folder, then add a place mark. Enter name, you may add a description and a link. Click OK once done. Let's now search for the next destination. Another method to add a place mark is by using the pin button at the top. Enter name. Add description and link. Then click OK. Do the same instructions for other destinations. Let's see what we have so far. Simply double click the place marks in the places panel to go there. Once all the places are added, we are ready to record our tour with narration or voiceover. To begin, double click the folder. Click the record a tour button. Remember to use the record button to record the actions on the screen. Click the audio icon to add your voice. Once done with the narration, click the red button to end the recording. At this point, I will record the tour. Hello, I am Victor and I will be your virtual tour guide here in Baguio City. Baguio is a highland city in the province of Benguet, Philippines. It has a number of tourist spots that people love to go, especially during the summer season. Let's visit five of them. Our first stop is in Burnham Park. It lies in the heart of Baguio City. 
it serves as a major attraction for both relaxation and recreational activities. Next is Camp Jeanhe. This place is a mixed-use development that serves as a tourist destination and forest watershed reservation in the city. It was formerly a military base of the United States Armed Forces. Let's go to Mines View Park. It is a ridge located at the extreme northeast side of the city, past the mansion and Wright Park. It boasts a spectacular view of Benguet's gold and copper mines and the Cordillera Mountains. Let's see the Philippine Military Academy. This is the Philippines' premier military cadet training center. It is recommended to visit PMA during Saturdays as this is where the cadet groups practice field activities. Finally, let's have a walk at Session Road. This is the main thoroughfare of Baguio where most of the city activity is centered. SM Mall, and Burnham Park are within walking distance. I hope you enjoyed our virtual tour. Thank you for joining me. To save it, click the Save button. In the Save dialog box, we can add our description and other details. After saving, this can be used in presenting this tour with friends, families, and clients. Hello, I am Victor and I will be your virtual tour guide here in Baguio City. Baguio is a highland city in the province of Benguet, Philippines. It has a number of tourist spots that people love to go, especially during the summer season. Let's visit five of them. Our first stop is in Burnham Park. It lies in the heart of Baguio City. It serves as a major attraction for both relaxation and recreational activities. Next is Camp Chan Hay. This place is a mixed-use development that serves as a tourist destination and forest watershed reservation in the city. It was formerly a military base of the United States Armed Forces. Let's go to Mines View Park. It is a ridge located at the extreme northeast side of the city, past the mansion and Wright Park. It boasts a spectacular view of Benguet's gold and copper mines and the Cordillera Mountains. Let's see the Philippine Military Academy. This is the Philippines' premier military cadet training center. It is recommended to visit PMA during Saturdays as this is where the cadet groups practice field activities.
finally, let's have a walk at Session Road. This is the main thoroughfare of Baguio where most of the city activity is centered. SM Mall and Burnham Park are within walking distance. I hope you enjoyed our virtual tour. Thank you. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions. Thank you.